Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw this award ribbon. Open a new document and press the Ctrl and R keys on your keyboard to show the ruler. To make things easier, let's set the guidelines. Click in the corner of the ruler, hold, and pressing the Ctrl key, drag it to the center of the artboard. Then release the mouse. Let's change the stroke color to none and the fill color to one you like. First we'll draw the round part of our ribbon. Go to the ellipse tool, click in the center and holding down the shift and alt keys draw a circle. Now we will add shine to the top part by drawing two ellipses and changing their transparency. Click on this guideline and holding down the ALT key draw a small ellipse. Press the letter V to select it. Open the gradient window and choose the white and black gradient. Now open the transparency window. If you don't have it, go to Window and select Transparency. Change the blending mode to Screen and change the opacity to 20%. Now press the letter G for the Gradient tool and let's change the direction of the gradient. Click on the bottom of the small ellipse, hold and drag it up. Next we will make a copy of this ellipse. Press Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl F to paste in front. Let's rotate it, move it down and resize it. And let's change the opacity of this ellipse to 10%. Next we will add a rosette to the outside of our circle. First we will create a small trapezoid and then we will rotate it around the circle. Select the rectangle tool, click on this guideline and holding down the ALT key draw a small rectangle. Let's zoom in on this part and change the gradient color. Open the gradient window, click on the gradient slider and holding down the ALT key click on a different color. Let's adjust the colors. And change the direction of the gradient. Next, we will make the bottom edge a little narrower. Go to the Free Transform tool and select the Perspective Distort. Click on the bottom right corner, hold and move it a bit towards the center. Now using the down arrow key, move it down to about right here. Right click with your mouse, select a range and send to back. Next we will rotate this part around the circle. Press the letter R for the Rotate tool. Now press and hold the ALT key and click in the center to set the rotation point. Type 360 over 42 and click Copy and press Ctrl D several times. Let's resize it and move it up. Next we will draw two bottom ribbons. Select the rectangle tool, click on this guideline and holding down the ALT key draw a long and narrow rectangle. Now let's add a fancy edge to the bottom of our ribbon. 
Select the Add Anchor Point tool and click in the center of the bottom edge to add an anchor point. Now let's move it to the side and zoom in on this part. Using the Direct Selection tool click on this anchor point and press the up arrow key several times to move it up. Next select the Convert Anchor Point tool, click on this anchor point and drag it out to make a curve. Now click on the left handle and bring it down. Let's do the same with the other handle. Now let's make the tab edge a little bit narrower. Rotate it a bit and move it about right here. And let's send it to the back. Now we will reflect this part to the other side. Press the letter O for the Reflect tool and holding down the ALT key click on the guideline. Select the vertical axis and click Copy. And finally let's add text. Select the Type tool. Choose a font that you like and type your text. Resize it and let's make a few more adjustments. Let's change the color to light blue and let's add a stroke. Finally we will add a drop shadow effect. And let's turn off the guidelines. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.